Hi, and welcome to your basic tutorial on how to use QGO Live. This is intended for people who have never downloaded the app before and are just getting started, so we'll keep it real simple for today. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the App Store to download the program. So, you're going to search for QGO Live, that's all together, one word. And there it is. We'll simply click Open. We'll simply tap on it, and as you see, I've already downloaded it on this device, but if you haven't downloaded the app yet, it'll give you an option to install and it'll download it real quick. Once you have the app on your device, go ahead and tap open, and that will bring you to the application. Now, as you see on the main page here, it will put it there as well, just like your other normal apps. Once you have the app on your device, you're going to go ahead and click open. And this will bring up the login page for QGO Live. So first thing you're going to want to do is put in your username and password. And these will have been sent to you in an email for your trial account. So you go ahead and put in your username and password and click login. If you'd like it to save the account, which you probably do, you can click save account. And auto login will allow the app to log in anytime you open the application. So if you have a saved account on here, which I do, I'm going to go ahead and open that and that will bring up the Live tab. This is kind of like the main screen here for QGO Live. So the first thing you'll probably notice is the big microphone in the center of the screen. This is going to allow you to go live and connect to your station. So all you have to do is tap the microphone and it will connect to the station. Now you see the view meter in the top is going to start activating and you can see it responding to my voice but it's a little bit low so that's the first thing we're going to address now we're going to go ahead and click on the mic in the left side of the screen and we're going to go ahead and increase the audio gain right now and as you see the view meter is going up and it's peaking at zero just like you would in the studio another thing you were going to want to do is turn on the automatic gain control that's over here on the right and that allows you to have better audio quality as it will limit any peaks you have so if you get any louder it will automatically decrease the volume and help you sound the best that you can be another thing you see is the lock button right here so if you want to go ahead and lock the device you can click that and that will keep you from accidentally disconnecting yourself from the station. To unlock again, double tap and it will allow you to disconnect now. A few more words before we disconnect though. You see in the bottom here, high, higher, and highest. That is your audio quality right there. The reason that you might want to use this is if you were in a challenging cell environment and you were having trouble getting the audio back to the station, maybe breaking up or something like that, you go ahead and dial down the audio and that will help you punch through in a challenging environment. But most of the time you can just leave that on highest and you won't have to worry about it. So those are the main controls on the live tab. So this is if you're gonna be using this for mostly live hits for news or sports or that sort of thing, this is the main screen you're gonna be using. And you will get return audio from the station and you can adjust that with the audio controls on your device. So you can hear the return that you're being fed back. A few more things, once you're finished with the remote, you can go ahead and disconnect. And that will disconnect your connection from the station. Now that we're disconnected, you see the option to enter the record mode. QGO Live has two modes, the live and record mode, and they're pretty similar, but the only difference is in recording, you're not going to go live. So if you tap record, it will give you a pop-up saying you are entering the record mode the first time. If you don't want to see this in the future, you can just tap don't ask again. Now that you're in the record mode, it's also going to ask you about a lightning connector. And so that's if you're using an external mic. If you're using the built-in mic, you don't really have to worry about this notification. So to record in here, the same thing. You just tap the mic. And as you see, the audio levels are already good because it remembered my mic gain settings right there. So you can go ahead and record. And once you're done, you tap the microphone again. And there is the recording right there. You can easily edit it right within the app. We're going to trim out this first part and delete that. And now you see there is the full report. We can go ahead and normalize it if we want and enter a file name. Go ahead and hit save. And your report is saved and it'll pop up over here in the recordings tab. There's so much more to QGO Live, and we've got so many more videos that will help walk you through this program. But these are the very basics of the app. 
And if you've got questions, feel free to check out the other videos we have up, and don't hesitate to reach out to us with support questions.